Hello, everyone. I'd like to share two stories today. First story happened during the Song Dynasty. There was a man named Wang who owned a restaurant in Jiangyang County of Jiangkang, the capital. Wang was kind and righteous, and practiced Taoism. He never thought about cheating people, and was well known for his honesty. He often helped the poor and treated all people equally. Everyone began calling him Honest Wang, and eventually forgot his real name. One day in February at dusk, a waiter was just about to lock the door when he suddenly saw several generals coming towards him. They were followed by many chariots, horses, and servants. As soon as they arrived, they shouted, "Open the door! We will arrest here!" When a waiter hurriedly reported to Honest Wang, he said, "Please let them in." By the time Wang arrived at the restaurant, the generals had already entered and were sitting around the table. Honest Wang was very respectful and served wine and food to the generals, and he also gave wine and food to the servants. In an instant, a group of people came holding large bundles of ropes. The ropes appeared to be ten thousand feet long. Dozens of people holding hundreds of wooden packs in their hands came and stood in front of the general wearing red robe and asked, "Should we start fancy the areas?" As soon as the red robe general nodded his head, the people went outside. Some pounded the wooden packs into the ground. Others tied the ropes to the packs and cordoned off the streets and alleys. Eventually, everything in the area was roped off. After they finished, they came to report to the general in red and said, "All ropes are used up, and this restaurant is also surrounded by the ropes." The general sat together and discussed about honest one. One said. Honest Wang did not cheat anyone in his lifetime. He always kindly helps others. His deeds are recorded in the heavens. The gods know it. Another general said, "If we do not save this restaurant, the heavenly law would not be fair. Please remove the robes from this restaurant." After their discussion, the generals went outside. And put the wooden pegs under the ground and untied the ropes that surrounded the restaurant. General Xin Red told Honest Wang, "We are repaying for your honesty." Then they mounted their winged horses, flew into the sky, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. When the night officer came by, he was surprised to see the restaurant was still open and asked, "Why is your restaurant still open at this late hour?" Honest Wang told the officer what happened. The officer reported to his superior officer, but no one believed him. Instead, he sent people to arrest Honest Wang for lying and trying to confuse people. Honest Wang was put in jail. Two days later, there was a huge fire in Jiangkang City. All the places that were surrounded by ropes burned, and nothing was left. Only Honest Wang's restaurant was safe and sound. Everything surrounding the restaurant was ashes. Everyone knew that Honest Wang was telling the truth, and he was released from jail. The second story happened in the Qing Dynasty. Society underwent turbulent changes at the end of the Qing Dynasty. People's morality began declining day by day. And even the children stopped upholding traditional culture. One bitterly cold winter day, a beggar came to Chen Jia Tang School, hoping for something to eat. Instead of having pity on him, as soon as students saw him, they ran outside and tried to chase him away by throwing stones at him. No matter how students bullied him, the beggar was not angry and still smiled. At that moment, a cook came out from the kitchen. When he saw what was happening, he severely rebuked the students. The cook was a kind man. 
He immediately went back to the kitchen and got some food for the beggar. He apologized for the student's behavior and invited the beggar to step inside and warm up. Afterwards, the beggar frequently came to the school, and the cook always treated him with respect and offered him nutritious food. The cook did not know who the beggar was until one day. The beggar told him a heavenly secret. The beggar said, "There will be disaster in this place. The entire school will sink underground. You must leave." The cook refused to believe him. The beggar kept repeating what he said until the cook got angry and said, "What is wrong with you? Every time you come here, I've given you the best food." I don't care if you thank me or not, but why do you keep telling me such a terrible story? The beggar had no choice but to shake his head, and then he left. One day at six in the morning, while the cook was preparing breakfast, a big dog ran into the kitchen. It grabbed a spoon out of the rice pot and ran out. The cook angrily chased after. When he was a few hundred feet from the school, he heard a loud sound, like a thunderclap behind him. He stopped and turned around, just as the entire school disappeared into the huge hole in the ground. The cook was shocked when he finally turned back around to look for the dog. It had disappeared. At that moment, he remembered what beggar told him. He realized that the beggar was not an ordinary person. Even though the cook refused to listen, the beggar found a way to save him. These two stories tell us that God is watching when people are doing things in the world, facing the rapid decline of human morality. If we have good thoughts, do good deeds, God will surely protect us. May we all together embrace a better tomorrow with a kind heart. Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe. Thank you again.